Hi everyone, I thought we would take a look at a book in this video today. It is called Design of Digital Computers and I'm moving some books around. So I've taken a stack and I was looking through the stack and I saw this one. It's written by Hans W. Gschwind, Springer Verlag, New York, Inc. And this is an older book. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it and see what's inside. I've already glanced at it and it seems really interesting. So I thought, let me make a video while we look at it some more. I'm gonna smell it here. I have not done that yet. Oh, it doesn't really have, I think this came from the home. Yeah, it probably came from a home that was perhaps smoked in a long time ago. It's got a very, very faint, it's, it's yeah, you can't really, it doesn't really have a, a positive smell or a negative one. It's kind of just like neutral. Let's take a look inside. Here we see Design of Digital Computers. Hans W. Geschwind, Chief Engineering Development Division, Computation Directorate, Air Force Missile Development Center. Sixth printing with 447 figures. Wow, 1967. Let's get the copyright here, yeah. This appears to be the first edition. Let's take a look at the preface and see who this book is for. The topics are really cool. Wait till you see the topics. This book is intended as an introductory text concerned with the design of digital computers. Computer programming and operation are mentioned only when they have a direct bearing on the equipment itself. The need for such an engineering text has been felt by the author while teaching computer courses for electronic engineers. Adequate text on the programming of digital computers exist, but as far as the engineering is concerned, presently available treatments are either not in the form of textbooks or are concerned only with specific individual aspects. Cool. We're trying to fill something that was not there, fill a need that was not there. Perhaps that's why it's in so many printings. It was a, a unique book in that sense. All right, what was this, the sixth printing? I believe we saw, was it sixth? Was this, yeah, sixth printing. So uh, this book has stood the test of time, uh, at least up until back then. I don't know if this book still exists today. Number systems and number representations, like if it's still in print. Boolean algebra. You do some of this stuff in discrete mathematics. Logic circuits. Storage elements. Computer circuits. If you know about this stuff, I'm curious, leave a comment if you uh, have any experience with any of these topics. The functional units of a digital computer. Cool. Input output unit. Unorthodox concepts. <laughs> Polymorphic computer systems. Huh. Yeah, some stuff here that's uh, pretty specific. Miscellaneous engineering and design considerations, unusual computer components. Oh, this is cool. I mean, here's the introduction. Computers, and they put it in quotes. Computers have attracted general interest only rather recently, although computing devices have been known for a long time. Hmm. I don't know what that word is. The Antikythera mechanism, supposedly used by ancient Greeks to determine the motions of the stars and planets. The astrolabes and the Middle Ages and Pascal's calculator are only a few examples of early computational devices, I see. However, the present usage of the term computer includes neither of those relatively primitive, though certainly effective, aids for computation, nor later developments like the slide rule, the planimeter, or the desk calculator. Yeah, the desk calculator, right? Cool. You provided a desk calculator and an operator for it. Huh. Interesting. Number systems. So a lot of these things, again, you see in a course on discrete math if you study computer science in college. So far, it's what I'm seeing. But this is more specific, like this stuff. Diode circuits, yeah, I don't know if you see that in discrete math. I might know discrete math, I don't remember that. Um, so it's getting pretty specific here. Yeah. Now it didn't really say, uh, we, would, we wouldn't read the whole preface, if this was like an undergraduate level text or a graduate level text. So if you have an opinion on that, 
uh, on what you think um, this might be, uh, leave a comment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sniff it again. Smell it. Ah, oh, ah, oh, not, not that, not, not. It, it just, it looks like it's gonna smell good, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really have a, a powerful scent in that regard. But yeah, kind of an interesting book. I just wanted to show it to you here. It's called Design of Digital Computers. Um, I was just moving some books around, so I have this stack here, and uh, I saw it and I thought, that's pretty cool. So let me just make a, a quick video here to, to show it to you. You know, computer science, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of math in it, right? As you can see here, all kinds of math. The functional units of a digital computer, addition and subtraction. Let's see what this says. Earlier in chapter six, we have already seen the basic mechanisms performing additions and subtractions. At that time, we have also discussed the integration of adders and subtractors with arithmetic registers. Remaining for our present discussion are then essentially three topics. A method to perform subtractions by additions, or conversely additions by subtractions, rules for algebraic additions and subtractions, and certain high-speed techniques. High-speed techniques. What is the complement of modulo 100 to... chart here, a little flow chart. I was looking at another book earlier today and we were discussing, oh, what was it? It was, it was another type of chart that wasn't a flow chart. I forgot what it was called. It's quite interesting. It's a different, uh, different organizational structure. Yeah, kind of cool. Anyways, if I can find this book, I'll, I'll leave a link in case you want to check it out. But yeah, you know, if you're uh, knowledgeable about this stuff, leave some uh, leave some information in the comments. Take care.